Hi everyone, Sariana van Ass here with a tutorial showing you how to make your own foam stamps. The foam sheets I used in this tutorial are available at www.stencilart.co.za. I started off by making a paper template that will fit around my cardboard roll that I will be using to make a stamp roller. I used my template to cut out a piece of acetate. I decided to use acetate so that I can adjust the placement of the foam stamps and to make it easy to clean. Randomly cut shapes out of a sheet of peel and stick foam and adhere to the piece of acetate. Use double sided adhesive tape to adhere the acetate to the cardboard roll. I'm cutting out some circles to make another stamp roller. I love stamp rollers because you can stamp a big surface in a short time and you do not need to use force to get a good impression. Cut some shapes out of peel and stick foam and adhere it to 6mm extra thick foam. Use stencils to draw and cut out images on the back of the peel and stick foam sheets. Draw doodles with a ballpoint pen on your foam images and adhere to the thick foam sheets. Next, I'm using thick and thin dyes to cut out images out of the peel and stick foam. You can also draw patterns on these images with a ballpoint pen or an embossing tool. You can use all the small shapes that were cut out with your dies to make interesting stamps. I peeled off the backing sheet of the small shapes and using the die cut as a template to make a stamp with the small wedges. Don't throw anything away. Even leftover pieces of foam can be used to cut out shapes to make stamps.
Use a copper dial or a paper punch to punch out small circles. You can use this stamp to create small dots through a stencil or to add texture to a background. You can also use the negative for a stamp. Use Ranger cut and dry foam to create stamp pads for the roller stamps. Spread acrylic paint extender on the cut and dry foam to slow down the drying time of the paint. Now add your acrylic paint. I use Dino Wakely heavy body acrylic paints. I used a brayer to spread out the paint. As always, I clean my brayer in my telephone directory so that I can use this paper later on for collage. I'm creating some paper for collage by stamping on wax paper. It has the same effect as tissue paper, it is just much stronger and is not as delicate as the tissue paper. The wax paper has a shiny and a matte side. I prefer to stamp or paint on the matte side where there is no wax, that's why I turned the page over. Slide your stamp roller over a foam roller from a hardware store. And now the fun begins. Just start adding patterns to the wax paper. Remember to dry the layers in between. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll have lots of fun making your own foam stamps.